The New Psycho Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz, updated and edited by Dan S. Kennedy. The most important psychological discovery of modern times is the discovery of the self-image. All your actions, feelings, behavior, and abilities are always consistent with this self-image. The most important truth about the self-image is that it can be altered. Decide that the old picture of yourself is in error and that a new picture is appropriate. Watch the people who best exemplify the characteristics you wish to strengthen and who are living as you aspire to live by studying them through every media source available. The so-called subconscious mind is not a mind at all, but a goal-striving servile mechanism consisting of the brain and nervous system, which is used and directed by the mind. Servile mechanisms are so constructed that they automatically steer their way to a goal, target, or answer. Conscious thought selects the goal and triggers it into action by desire and feeds information to the automatic mechanism so that you continually correct its course. You act and feel not according to what things are really like, but according to the image your mind holds of what they are like. You have certain mental images of yourself, your world, and the people around you, and you believe as though these images are the truth rather than the things they represent. If we picture ourselves performing in a certain manner, it is nearly the same as the actual performance. Mental practice is as powerful as actual practice. Zero in on the desired results as if they were already in existence. Incorporate mental rehearsal into your daily regimen. It is possible to alter the body's autonomic physiological responses. When you use imagination, mental pictures, and suggestions, you can communicate with your body and make it respond. Form a picture in your imagination of the self you want to be and see yourself in the new role. When you see a thing clearly in your mind, the creative success mechanism within you takes over and does the job much better than you could do it by conscious effort or willpower. Your present self-image was built on your own pictures of yourself in the past, which grew out of interpretations and evaluations you placed on experience. Feelings of inferiority originate not so much from facts or experiences, but from our conclusions regarding the facts and our evaluation of those experiences. You, as a personality, are not in competition with any other personality, simply because there is not another person on the face of the earth like you or in your particular class. Rational thought, to be effective in changing belief and behavior, must be accompanied with deep feeling and desire. Picture yourself as you would like to be and have, and assume for the moment that such things might be possible. Arouse a deep desire for these things. Become enthusiastic about them. Dwell on them and keep going over them in your head. Your present negative beliefs were formed by thought plus feelings. Generate enough emotion or deep feeling and your new thoughts and ideas will cancel them out. Constant repetition and thinking in terms of possibilities makes the end result appear more and more real to you. Act on the best assumptions available and leave the results to take care of themselves. People are self-conscious and awkward in social situations because they are too consciously concerned, too anxious to do the right thing, and too fearful of saying or doing the wrong thing. The solution is to just let go. 
Stop trying. Don't care. And give no thought to the matter. People cannot function at their best if moving at the fastest possible speed all the time without relief or recovery. Mentally, slow yourself down enough to savor your experiences. One of the main causes of breakdown, worry, and other personal problems is the bad mental habit of feeling that we should be doing many things now. Top performers stick with focus rather than multitasking. The most common causes of unhappiness are people attempting to live their lives on the deferred payment plan. They do not live, nor do they enjoy life now, but wait for some future event or occurrence. Happiness isn't something that happens to you. No one can decide what your thoughts will be but yourself. It is only fun if you make it. If someone else does it for you, it is entertainment. When your actions or performance does not meet your expectations, don't belittle yourself with negative self-talk. Replace those images of yourself that do not create value in your life. Habits are reactions and responses you've learned to perform automatically without having to think or decide. They are performed by our servile mechanism or subconscious. All problems, personal, national, or combat, become smaller if you confront them. It is a good exercise to daily admit one painful fact about ourselves to ourselves. Have the courage to risk making mistakes, failure, or being humiliated. Once you move forward, you can correct your course as you go. Stop carrying around a mental image of yourself as a person less capable than others. Celebrate your victory, small or large. Recognize and build on your strengths and continually remind yourself that you are not your mistakes. Begin to appreciate other people more. Show respect for people because they are a child of God. You're dealing with unique individual creations of the creator of all. Confidence is built on an experience of success. Success breeds success. Start gradually and experience success at first on a small scale. Form the habit of remembering past successes and forgetting failures. Many people shy away from healthy self-acceptance because they insist on identifying themselves with their mistakes. You may have made a mistake, but this doesn't mean that you are a mistake. Instead of self-rejection, strive for self-acceptance. Acknowledge that you are a unique, one-of-a-kind composite of strengths, weaknesses, knowledge and ignorance, experience and naivete, accomplishment, and unrealized potential. Negative emotions are alarms. No one is immune to these negative feelings and attitudes. Recognize them for what they are and take positive action to correct course. Chronic frustration usually means that the goals we have set for ourselves are unrealistic or that the image we have of ourselves is inadequate or both. You must exhibit strength of self-image and determine to pick yourself up, replot your course, and restart your travel toward your chosen goals. Don't lash out blindly. Concentrate your fire. The answer to aggression is not to eradicate it, but to understand it and to provide appropriate channels for its expression. Misdirected aggression is an attempt to hit one target, the original goal, by lashing out at any target. It doesn't work. You don't solve one problem by creating another. The feeling of insecurity is based on a concept or belief of inner inadequacy. We compare our actual abilities to an imagined ideal. 
When a championship team begins to think of itself as champions, they no longer have something to fight for, but a status to defend. The champions are defending something, trying to prove something. The underdogs are fighting to do something and often bring about an upset. Many people are indecisive because they fear loss or self-image if they are proven wrong. Use self-image for yourself instead of against yourself. By convincing yourself of this truth, big men and big personalities make mistakes and admit them. Resentment is caused by your own emotional response, your own reaction. You alone have power over this. Do not fear self-analysis. Stick with self-coaching. Avoid self-loathing. People who become offended the easiest have the lowest self-esteem. We are hurt by things we conceive of as threats to our ego. What we call personality is the outward evidence of that unique and individual creative self made in the image of God, that spark of divinity within us. The best way to make a good impression on people is never try to make a good impression on them. Each of us needs a quiet room inside the mind, a quiet center within. This quiet room within works as a mental and emotional decompression chamber. Recapture in memory the feeling of success and confidence. Remember the little incidental details. Search your past experiences for signs that the goal you are now imagining can be achieved. Arrange things so that you can succeed in little things. You can build on an atmosphere of success that will carry into larger undertakings. Success is built on success. Thank you for watching.